Hello, I am Scorp, and I'm going to show you how to use an external SSD in your Steam Deck. Uh, you might want to do this because you might have a lot of games that you only ever want to play docked, or a lot of party games or something that you want, only want to play docked and never want to take around with you, and save a lot of space, basically. So, you've plugged in your hard drive into the USB slot, or into a USB-C dock or whatever, and you've come to the settings, and you've come to storage, and it's not there. So, I'm going to show you what to do. What you need to do is you need to come into desktop mode. It's probably going to be a lot easier if you have a mouse and keyboard attached also, so I would highly recommend a mouse and keyboard if you can. So we are now in desktop, and the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to format the drive. So you're going to have to come to KDE Partition Manager, open this, and you have to type a password. If you haven't typed a password already, you'll have to do a further step, which is come to console, which is with a K, and then you have to type in pass wd, oops, wd, where's the w? And set a password, I've already got a password, so I'm not going to change that. So you just need to do that. And once you've set yourself a password for the deck user, you can come back here and type in your password. So here you can see this is my internal storage, this is my external storage. I already have a partition on here that I don't want to delete, which is some Windows games, and this is where I want to what I want to format. So I'm going to click New, and we are going to select ETXC4. You can try some others if you wish. I am not, and we are going to click OK. Actually, maybe I do want to give it a label. Let's give it a label of we'll call, just call it External External. And we need to click Apply, and Apply Pending Operations, and eventually, I'll we'll click OK first, get rid of this, this menu and everything, and then, as you can see, it should now be here, and what we need to do is click Mount and Open. And there it is, there's our external games. But that's not quite the end of the story, because if you right-click on the external drive, you will see that the permissions are set to root. And now the, the, the permissions actually need to be DEC, otherwise the uh, otherwise Steam cannot access it, cannot read and write it. So we have to come back to console, and we are going to need to... Uh, where are we? Home deck, let's have a ls, see where we are. That's not where we need to be. We need to go to cd uh, slash run slash media. I'm not very good with this keyboard. Slash deck. And let's do an ls external. There it is. And we need to do a ch own, which is change owner. And we need to change the owner to deck. And we are changing external. Oh, and we need to do sudo first. Uh, quick cheat. If you do sudo dash dash, in fact, no, I'll type it out properly. So, Joan deck external enter, and then enter that password that you just created. And now you should see if we come back and go back into the settings, into the properties, the permissions are now deck. So that's that one thing. The next thing we need to do is we didn't need to add this as a Steam library. And we can't do this in desktop mode, so once again, we're going to stay in desktop mode. And we are going to come to... Oh come to Settings, and then down to Downloads, Steam Library Folders, and then here, there's a nice plus icon, which there isn't in gaming mode. And if you click plus, and then it will should show up as the first thing in the list. If not, you have to browse to it in the choose your location, but it should be there. And you just click add, and boom, there it is. However, another however, uh, when you restart the system, um, this will be gone. You will have to come back into desktop mode and uh, remount it, which is obviously not what you want. You want it to be mounting automatically. So the way you, we need to do that is, once again... We're going to come back to console, and then we are going to go sudo nano. Uh, nano is a um, text editor, by the way, if you don't know. 
etc, and then it's uh, fstab. Now this is our partitions that get mounted, and what we need to do is we need to add our external hard drive into this list. So first up, we need the UUID of the uh, external drive. So again, we need to go to uh, we need to go to the KDE Partition Manager once again. Uh, right click on the partition, this one, and properties. And here you will see a UUID. You need to copy this UUID. We've uh, highlighted in Control C or however you prefer to do your copying, and then back to the console, and we need to type in uppercase UUID equals, and then insert. And then we need to select the mount point, which is run slash uh, media slash, uh, let me just check it actually, just in case I made this wrong properties. Where's my mount point? Here, you could just copy this actually, if you're feeling lazy and don't want to type so much. So copy that, insert it. And then next thing is the type, which is ET ext4. And then after this, we want defaults. And then very importantly, very importantly, we need no fail. I originally did this without the no fail in and uh, my Steam Deck wouldn't boot then without the drive plugged in. So it's very important that you put no fail here. Otherwise, if you don't have the hard drive plugged in, it will not boot at all. So yeah, make sure you do that. And then zero and zero. And then click save, which is control S, and then control X to exit. That should indeed be it. So we are going to restart. And now we've restarted, we are back into game mode. If we come to settings, um, if you start a Steam Deck with an external monitor plugged in, then the UI is completely messed up and you cannot use your mouse. So um, the way to fix that is to uh, unplug the HDMI cable and replug it and it will fix it, but I don't want to do that because it will mess up my uh, recording software. So we're going to go to settings and come back down to storage and there you go see it's automatically mounted and it's ready to use and uh, just as a final test i'm going to turn this off and then start it without the external hard drive plugged in just to prove that it, it still actually boots this time so once again i have restarted the deck this time without the hard drive plugged in and it boots just fine thankfully and without with that uh, no fail in the f stab and I will now plug it in and it should automatically mount it and it will appear if by magic. Boom, there we go. So there we have it. That's how you use an external SSD and have it auto mounted when you log in and auto mounted when it plugs in. Um, I wouldn't probably unplug it while it's, uh, it's running. It might be fine, but I wouldn't. <laughs> so if you found that video helpful good i'm i'm glad <laughs> enjoy your steam decks people just quick disclaimer um all information provided here is as is i do not take responsibility for you breaking your decks uh, all i can say is this worked for me and it should work for you but <laughs> don't sue me <laughs>